Hello guys, uh, hope you're all good. Uh, welcome to week 14 of Parrot Puzzler. Weeks are flying by, uh, but the sun is shining, so I'd rather the weeks slow down a little bit. Um, but anyway, how are we all doing? All good. Um, we're doing good here, busy here, and the dolphin. Um, yeah, nice and busy actually. I've uh, got extra marquees in the garden at the Parrot now. Um, and if you want, you can go on our website and book tables under the marquees um, rather than calling us um, or reserving a table inside um, yeah it's nice for sunny evenings like tonight um, yeah we're still doing a takeaway here at the parrot we're not at the dolphin unfortunately the dolphin is just too busy right now um, super busy busier than I thought it would be which is good news um, so if you do require a takeaway call us at the parrot please um yeah it's all good with both pubs uh we're taking part in this um eat out to help out scheme starts next monday um so yeah the parrot will be open on mondays through august as well um so yeah government scheme gives you guys up to 10 pound off uh, monday tuesday and wednesday when you have food and soft drink does not include alcohol i'm afraid so alcohol is still full price um but any food or soft drink, um, if you spend 20 quid, you'll get £10 off. If you spend 30 quid, you'll still only get £10 off, but it all helps. Um, yeah, so up to £10, half price, pretty good. So yeah, book online, call us, and that applies to everyone that's booked already as well. You don't have to have a special book in. Uh, yeah, just a nice thing the government is doing. Um, so yeah, Parrot Puzzler. 20 questions, standard. Um, a real good mix this week, actually. I've really enjoyed these questions. Um, so, question one. Uh, which brand uses a pink rabbit to advertise itself? Uh, clean answers only. Question two, maths question, nice and early. Uh, how many minutes in a week? Guess you're gonna have to pause it. I'll pull a nice face for you whilst you're paused. There you go, unpaused, not long. Uh, question three, which river runs through the city of Berlin? Question four, if you were drinking wine from Stellenbosch, which country would it have come from? Question five. Uh, the 4th of August 2012 was dubbed Super Saturday at the London Olympics. But how many gold medals did Team GB win that day? Question six. Mick, Jag Mick Jagger is the lead singer for which worldwide famous band? Question seven. Which campaign did Radio Suffolk's Mark Murphy kick off again last week after seeing a rise of litter being thrown to the ground after lockdown? Uh, and I did actually speak to him on the radio about this last week, I think. Question eight. Another maths question. What do you get if you add all the numbers together on a calculator. Nice easy one. Question nine. How old was Harrison Ford in the last Indiana Jones film? Question 10. Which car maker's logo is made up of four linked rings? Question 11. In cricket, how many balls are in an over? I'm pretty sure there's only one answer to this, um, but already that question is beyond my knowledge of cricket. 
Uh, question 12. Which UK county has the longest coastline? Question 13. Which came along first? Gordon's Gin or Smirnoff Vodka? If you can give me the year, fantastic. Extra point. But that was a long time ago. Question 14. In the film Schindler's List, what colour coat does the young girl wear? If you haven't seen this film, you probably don't know what I'm going on about. If you have seen the film, you'll know that it's all in black and white apart from this one little girl that wears a coloured coat. What colour is it? Question 15. How many people make up the 80s pop group Banana Rama? And uh, my dog, Whisper, is named after Banana Rama. It's a pedigree name. <clears throat> Question 16. Which element makes up a diamond? It's a pretty easy question, I think. Question 17. In a standard game of Monopoly, what is the most expensive property on the board? Question 18. Christmas question. What was the biggest selling Christmas toy in the 1960s? Obviously, I'm far too young to remember this. Um, I, my my mum might remember. Do you? <clears throat> question 19. Which two toppings make a pizza Hawaiian? Bit of controversy around one of them. At question 20, how many chromosomes does a human have? That's it. 20 questions. Good mix of questions. Um, how'd you get on? Easy? I hope it wasn't too bad. Um, but I think we should have some high scores this week. We'll find out how you got on. Uh, so answers. Question 1. Which brand uses a pink rabbit to advertise itself? Um, yeah, Duracell. This is for batteries. Um, we won't go any deeper than that. I don't. Oh, bad part, maybe. <laughs> we don't need to. Um, question two: How many minutes in a week? So the answer is ten thousand and eighty. Uh, and the way you get there: twenty-four hours times by sixty minutes in a day, in those twenty in a day. Yeah. Anyway, 24 times 60, 1,440, times that by 7, the days in a week gives you 10,080. Um, question 3, which river runs through the city of Berlin? Uh, it's the Spree. And looking for somewhere to try and help pronounce it online, it is pronounced exactly as it reads in English, Spree. Question 4, if you're drinking wine from Stellenbosch, which country would it have come from? Uh, it's in South Africa. Question five. The 4th of August 2012 was dubbed Super Saturday at the London Olympics, but how many gold medals did Team GB win? Uh, they won six gold medals in 48 minutes. Um, so, pretty good going. Uh, question six. Mick, Mick Jagger is the lead singer for which worldwide famous band? It's, of course, the Rolling Stones. <clears throat> question seven. Which campaign did Radio Suffolk's Mark Murphy kick off again last week after seeing a rise in litter being thrown to the ground after lockdown? Uh, it's his Don't Be a Tosser campaign. Um, it's getting lots of coverage on the radio, the newspaper, uh, the councils are involved. Um, you'll see that we have window stickers in our pubs, in my car. Um, so yeah, it's a good campaign. And I spoke to him last week. If you give him a message, he will send you stickers. Uh, question eight. What do you do? What do you get if you add all the numbers on a calculator? So one, add two, add three, so on. Uh, you get forty-five. If you add zero to nine, it's, it's forty-five. Question nine. How old was Harrison Ford in the last Indiana Jones film? Uh, he was 66. It's 
pushing it a bit for old Indiana. Uh, the last film was in 2008, and it was Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And I think it all went a bit mad in that film with aliens coming down from space. And, yeah. Question 10. Which car maker's logo is made up of four linked rings? Uh, it's Audi. I don't think there's another logo with four linked rings. I could be wrong. Let me know. I'm sure you will. Um, question 11. In cricket, how many balls are in an over? Uh, it's six. Um, I mean, I think there's many different types of games of cricket. I don't know. Maybe there's a different answer, but six is what I got. <clears throat> question 12. Which UK county has the longest coastline? Uh, it's Cornwall with 400 miles of coastline. Now, second one really baffled me. Uh, so the second one was Essex with 350 miles of coastline. Um, but in previous quizzes I've done, Suffolk only has 50 miles of coastline. So where does Essex get so much more coastline than Suffolk? Um, I can only guess it's to do with the Thames estuary, maybe. Uh, but anyway, the answer is Cornwall, 400 miles. Question 13, which came along first, Gordon's Gin or Smirnoff Vodka? Uh, the answer is the gin. Can you hear the phone ringing? I took the batteries out of the phone in the bar today. Uh, yes, Gordon's Gin is the answer from 1769. Uh, Smirnoff Vodka didn't come along until 1864, so nearly 100 years later. Uh, question 14, in the film Schindler's List, what colour coat does the young girl wear? Uh, she's wearing a red coat. Question 15. How many people make up the 80s pop group Bananarama? Uh, it's three, three girls. Um, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Question 16. Which element makes up a diamond? Uh, it's carbon. Uh, also makes up graphite. Two very different things, diamonds and graphite, but same element. Uh, question 17. In a standard game of Monopoly, what is the most expensive property on the board to buy? Uh, is Mayfair. Uh, I think it costs 400 uh, With a hotel, it's 2000 That's it. 18. What was the biggest selling toy of the 1960s? Uh, it was an Etch-A-Sketch. Um, Obviously sold a few after the 60s, because I remember having one as a kid as well. Uh, question 19. Which two toppings make a pizza Hawaiian? It's ringing again. Uh, so Hawaiian pizza has ham and pineapple on top. Obviously pineapple is controversial. Should it be on pizza? Let me know. Question 20. How many chromosomes does a human have? Uh, so it has 23 pairs of chromosomes, which makes... 46 in total so yeah 46 is the answer if you've got 23 half a point because it's half the answer I guess that makes logical sense okay there's your 20 questions uh, hope you all done well let me know how you got on um, I do like to know how you got on because it gives me an indication as whether I need to make it easier or harder um, but yeah good quiz I think Thanks very much guys for watching again. Remember, book online, both here, the parrot and the dolphin. Um, we'll get you in. Yeah, really busy. Uh, stay safe everyone, keep wearing your masks. Um, if any of you follow my personal Instagram, you'll see all of my, well, most of my masks are Christmas themed. Um, yeah, obviously. Uh, so yeah, if you see me in co-op and I'll have a Christmas mask on, you know it's me. Um, yeah, take care, be good everyone, and we'll see you next week for week 15.